Hi y'all. I can't ever decide where I want to do these and where I like the lighting best, but today we're in the bathroom. So let's see. Um, 25 weeks tomorrow. So this is all about how week 24 went. Um, let me pull up my notes. I should have them pulled up already. So let's do this real fast. Okay. Itchy. My stomach. I definitely feel like she's grown this week huge. I mean, I know huge is kind of an exaggeration, but definitely some growing itchiness. Um, the symphysis pubic, whatever, dysfunction pain, <laughs> I can't ever think of what it's called, um, is just, is insane, but it's on the mend. We, um, it was super itchy. Um, I went to the chiropractor Monday and walked out feeling good. As time went on, I started to get sore. Um, I just became really sore. It felt good the whole time. Like I was there, um, she was massaging and showing me how to massage and what it meant and why my muscles were, muscles and ligaments were out of whack the way they were. Um, she really helped explain to me what I had rather than just, you know, fixing me and sending me on. Um, so I'm going to go back Wednesday and Friday. And I will have to go back three times a week until the muscles figure out they can't move anymore. <laughs> um, we're pretty much trying to retrain my muscles back into their, where they're supposed to go. So, that is that. Um... And today, this morning, I woke up and so sore, I couldn't even... Hi, Jenny. Um, I woke up so sore, oh, I thought I was going to have to, like, email my boss and ask to work from home this morning. It was so intense, the soreness. I, like, I couldn't even roll over. And before, like, I had all that, but it was just, you know, some some pain, and then I could, you know, move on. But I am, um, the soreness is just a whole different ball game. But I think that I talked to her about it, the chiropractor, and she said that soreness is good because that means the muscles are getting the picture that they got to go somewhere and um, that it should get better. So we'll see how the next few appointments go. Um, let's see. Oh, I got my hair done. I don't know if you can tell. Yeah, a little some caramel highlights and my natural part is actually supposed to be on this side of my head like as you can tell but I have a mad cowlick so I have to make it go I have to make my hair go the opposite way sorry so yeah that's the story of my crazy hair but yeah and I just got you know the ends cut off a little bit because it was getting long it's still really long but at least it's not crazy out of control anymore um out of breath. Gosh, I feel like she is just right here stuck up under my ribs. Like, literally. I just feel like, ugh, just doing anything. I feel like I just have to take a big breath. Um, but overall, as far as symptoms, week 24 was just kind of, eh, okay. So, we'll move on from the boring stuff. I went, I had a certified nurse midwife appointment yesterday. My weight with <laughs> rain boots and a sweatshirt and jeans on was 132. So, whatever. I don't care. They can write down 132 in their book. It doesn't bother me. Um, and, yeah, like, technically that's a lot. Like, that's technically 30 pounds that I've gained. But I, I started this pregnancy somewhere between... 102 and 105 so I'd say I'm doing pretty good because I needed some weight to begin with like 102 slash 105 is way too little and I hate well y'all know the story I hate being that little but I can't gain weight when I'm not pregnant I don't know why so uh blood pressure was 108 over 62 um my uterus was measuring 26 weeks with the baby transverse, which means she was laying sideways. 
across my belly so that's a good size measurement for um, she was like, whoa, what, 26? She's like, I wouldn't have thought that. Um, especially because they're usually, they measure a little bit smaller when the baby's laying sideways. I don't know why, but um, I'm not worried about it. She's not worried about it. So it was just kind of like, oh, you don't look that big, but my uterus is. <laughs> um, yeah, so I'm going to get, I'm supposed to get my titer levels drawn again for my antibody E, but then they were like, oh, we'll just do it next time. So I think what I'm going to do is have um, my midwife do it at the appointment that I go see her at. Um, and honestly, I'm thinking of really just kind of slowing down on the co-care with the certified nurse midwives because... I'm going to have to start going to them more often, and the wait time is so long in the office, it makes me insane. <sighs> and so, I don't know. Depending on what my tire levels are will depend on what I do with co-care. Um, because right now, everything's progressing fine. Everything's doing fine. I mean, if anything was to come up, you know... The other midwife that's going to be at my birth is only an hour away. I can go see her, but I really don't, I don't know. I, I'm kind of in limbo with those decisions, but I don't know. As of now, I'm not quitting anything, but we'll see what happens at my next appointment and how, actually, it all depends on my titer levels because I'm not going to put anybody at risk of, you know, baby anemia. But anyway, okay, so on to some fun. Um, I'm going to show you my belly. And then Carson, we're going to talk to Carson a little bit about um, his new baby sister, and he will tell you her name, so stay tuned. I feel like it's huge this week. So there she is. It's all the growing she did for 24 weeks. These lines are almost... <laughs> it's funny. Oh, Alright. Miss Martin, mm hmm I should wear it out from, I was riding over there. And when does the baby come out? He comes out at, he? when he gets bigger. He? <laughs> she, it's a girl baby. Uh-huh. He's a girl baby and she is, and I heard the ice cream man on the little bit tomorrow I did. Uh-huh. So, and then so when does when does Violet get here? And uh, once she gets big, how big does she have to get? That's big. That big? Uh huh. You think she'll fit? Uh huh. What's gonna happen when Violet's born? She'll just have a cord. Uh huh. And then what happens with that cord? Um, she eats. She eats a lot. Uh huh. Is that how she eats right now? Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then what happens when she's born? She doesn't need that cord? No. And who's going to help take it off her? I'm going to cut it off. You're going to cut it? Uh-huh. And it's not going to scare you? No. Even though that babies sometimes have blood on them? Uh-huh. And what's that mean that they have blood on them? Because um, they, come out, they came out of the mommy's tummy. Yeah. It means they're not hurt though, right? Uh, mom, yeah. yeah. Only like they fall 
Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but the baby doesn't hurt coming out of the mommy, does it? Mm-hmm, I do. No scare you? Oh good. And what happens, how does the baby eat when it comes out of the mommy's belly? Um, um, it doesn't need a cord. It doesn't need a cord? No. How will, the, how will the baby eat? Um, just, I will eat with none of them. Yeah, that's right. And you're going to be nice to the baby? Uh-huh. And make sure Paisley's? The baby? The baby? You're going to be nice to the baby? Yes. <laughs> you have no clothes on. What's in your diaper? What did you put in your diaper? What is that? Trash? What is wrong with you, silly girl? And mommy, uh -huh. the baby doesn't need a cord. Mm -mm, they won't need a cord. And Paisley will have to share her car. Yeah, Paisley will have to share her toys. Will you have to share your toys? Yeah, I will ask them all my toys. Yeah. Got my snakes. Mm hmm And every toy. And every toy. Uh-huh. I will. Mm-hmm. And I'll share it with my truck. Yep. And then I can and I'll and I'll share that scooter. You'll share everything? Uh -huh. Okay. And I'll make sure the Violet doesn't hit Miss Martin. And so that's your baby's name? Uh huh. Violet. Yep. And she is she gonna be your brother or your sister? Uh -huh. Sister. Sister. A sister. A sister. Paisley, what's your baby's name? Baby. Baby. Can you say Violet? Ooh. Yeah. That's about how interested you are, huh? Oh, crazy hair. Okay. Crazy. Say bye. Bye, baby. Basically, I've had a, a, a flat thing on her. And <laughs> we've been playing all night. And it means when the baby comes out, he has a cord. Mm -hmm. and then, okay. Oh. You say bye. <laughs> they won't go in the street. They won't cross that line. <laughs> all right. Say bye. Bye.